Hi, this is Elliot from Automate, and I'm going to be showing you the new presets functionality in Data Controller version 3.5. The new presets functionality allows you to quickly and easily save, edit, and restore Dante network configurations. It's a major new feature and fully replaces the existing presets function. A Dante preset contains configuration and routing parameters for some or all devices on the network. You can use presets to backup and restore network configurations, for instance if you want to experiment with your network design and be able to roll back to the original configuration at any time. Uh, you can quickly switch between saved network configurations, which is ideal if you want to quickly switch a network between multiple applications, for example a recording studio with multiple live rooms. And you can copy a Dante network configuration from a lab or a test network to a live or production network. You can design or edit a network in the test environment before you get to the actual venue and then easily apply the design to the live network just by loading the preset file. To save a preset, you just click on the preset button in the main toolbar. You can save for all devices or a selection of devices. You can also choose which device configuration parameters you want to include in the preset. Here I'll save a preset for all devices containing all device parameters. This is the preset file itself. It's just an XML file and can be edited offline in any text editor. So Dante Controller can now be used as an offline configuration tool. Obviously, if you change any parameters to values that aren't supported by the device, you won't be able to apply that parameter when you reload the preset. I'll edit this file with a dodgy parameter so we can see what happens when we load it back in. When a preset is saved, the configuration and routing for each selected device is saved into the preset as a device role, with the same name as the device from which it was created. The role is not tied to its originating device. When a preset is loaded into Dante Controller, each role can be applied to its originating device or to another device, even if it doesn't support exactly the same functionality. It's a transferable set of device configuration and routing parameters. I'll make some changes in my network so you can see how the preset fixes them. To load a preset, go to File Load Preset. When you apply a preset, you can decide which roles you want to apply to which devices and which parameters you want to apply. The Preset Elements column is where you choose which parameters you wish to apply. Dante Controller will also automatically assign roles where it thinks they're meant to be. If it finds a matching device name, it will automatically make that assignment. If it can't match a device name, but can find a device of the same model that hasn't already been assigned a role, it will make that assignment automatically. Here you can see the sample rate that we edited in the XML. Dante Controller knows that it can't apply that parameter, so it has identified it in the Target Devices column with an LED icon and in the Issues column. The Dante Controller user guide has more information about assignments and what the various icons mean. You can also make your own assignments by dragging and dropping or by selecting the relevant role and device and clicking apply. Again, the LED icons indicate assignments that have issues and the issues column explains the issue. A black LED icon means that the assignment could cause a network to become non-functional so you need to look out for those ones and you will not be able to apply a preset if there are any of those issues present. You can also apply a role to multiple devices. Note that the roles are not actually applied until you click the OK button so you can remove them if you like using the delete key or the clear button. I won't apply this preset because I've made some bizarre choices but you can cancel and reload the preset file if you want to start again. I'll apply the preset we saved earlier so you can see my network restored to its original configuration, minus the invalid sample rate of course. Check out the Dante Controller user guide for more information about presets.